is where we find CBS 2's Asal Rizai live this morning for us. Asal, how's everyone doing? Yeah, Audrina, Ryan, we do know that all of the students, including the most critical, are now said to be in stable condition. So that is good news this morning. And we know that many of them are still recovering at the hospital this morning. Now, school officials tell us that this is a critical time for the school to rally around the team and the coaches and really come together as a family. This crash happened at about eight o'clock on Saturday night. Police in Warsaw, Indiana say officers were actually on the way to stop that semi truck after several reports of it speeding and driving off the roadway. Minutes before they arrived, police say the truck driver blew through a red light and slammed into the back of that bus carrying 23 students and two coaches. We're told at least one student was ejected from that bus. In a statement from the school, officials say injured students were taken to local hospitals. At least three students ended up at a hospital trauma center where one required surgery. We spoke to the school's president yesterday. Take a listen. We live in an imperfect world and need to be ready to reach out when there are times of sadness and challenge. Now, police say that semi-truck driver has been arrested and is being held after being charged with drunk driving. Now, we do know that the school here and students plan to come together for that mass at 3.30 this afternoon. I'm live from St. Ignatius College Prep. That's all reside, CBS 2 News.